Hey everyone, how are you? My name is KB Coat. I am the Spiritual Advocate, and I want to thank you and welcome you to the reading for Aquarius for the month of August 2020. Um, I will be using the Star Man Tarot for your general reading and the Enchanted Map Tarot, uh, excuse me, Oracle Deck if any clarifications are necessary or if I just want to get, um, a little more feedback from the energies. I am an intuitive reader. That means even though um, I could follow the actual meaning of each card, I don't always do that. Um, I use the cards mainly as a way to channel the messages that the universal energies want you to have. I apologize if the message you get is not what you want to hear, but it'll definitely be what you need. Um, it'll be what you need to know. I do not start my readings with any cards in reverse, so if you do get a reversal during the reading, that is the spirit telling you to pay very close attention to whatever the message is. Um, and like I said, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, I ask you to like, share, uh, or subscribe. Leave a comment below. And if you are interested in a personal reading, you can look in the description box for the information on how to um, make that happen. First uh, card, Aquarius, the star. Pop it this one. The chariot. Hmm. The devil. Something wicked this way comes for someone. Four of swords. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, here's something in the back, and on the bottom you have Death. I always hold these cards funny in the left hand. Okay. Um. I like the energy around you, um, and I think you're pretty much just on track for whatever it is that uh, you've been planning to move forward with this month. There is someone or something uh, a little devious in the shadows that I don't think you are aware of now. Um, I feel like you, you, you might have someone a little hater plotting and scheming, maybe trying to figure out how to make things a little more difficult for you. But it's funny because I feel like the joke is on them. I don't feel like you really have anything to worry about. Um, I see them getting a little upset. Almost like one of those, uh, one of those cartoons with like uh, Inspector Gadget or Dr. Claw or something, and and <laughs> the villain is angry that their plans just never work. It just never seems to work for them. Um, and even though I don't feel as though you're aware of it, it's like you have a sense, something in your subconscious or or or. Your, 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 your energy is just saying, like, it's your, you're just prepared. That's the simplest way for me to put it. You're prepared. Even if you're not aware of it coming, whatever the hell it is, it's irrelevant to you. And it's not even that you have to do anything. It's like, 
and it's like a flea, a, a, a mosquito. It might be a little bit of annoying at a for a second, but swat it away, it's gone. Let's go a couple more cards. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment. Hmm. The tower. Who was it? I think it might have been Capricorn. No, it was you. It was Aquarius. All of the readings that I've done so far, it was Aries. It was Aries and Aquarius. Out of all the reading readings that I've done so far, Aries and Aquarius are the only two that didn't get um the tower. And it's crazy because I did Libra and Aquarius. I did these readings yesterday. I'm going to smoke a cigarette while I talk. I did these readings yesterday. And um, Libra's was so bad that I didn't even want to post it. Like, I've never done a reading that bad. It was, I felt as though, like, Libra's, it was so bad that they were going to disappear. And we were going to wake up the next day in a world where it was only, um, 11 astrological signs and people were going to say, but I swear to God, it was 12 and it was just going to be like some Mandela effect type shit. But the Libran and the Aquarian videos that I made would not play. They would not play. And I'm a little disturbed because they didn't go through. I redid the Libran, um, uh, uh I redid the Libra reading and it was pretty much the same message, but it wasn't as heavy, as intense as it was the first time around. And now I'm doing yours over. And I stated it yesterday. You guys didn't get the tower, but here comes the tower now in your reading. Um, and even with the tower here, I feel like this is going to be such a beautiful thing that's coming and the tower even though you will be affected by it is not really for you it's not because a lot of times when we get tower moments it's so that we can learn a lesson but this uh tower moment for you is not for you to learn the lesson don't let that don't don't take that to mean that there's not a lesson to learn in everything that we do and encounter but this tower is not specifically designed to teach you a lesson. It's specifically designed to reveal who the snakes in the grass around you are, to clarify uh, 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 exactly what energy you need to clear from your presence. And, um, yeah, so this little snake in the grass, this little hater who's sitting in the cut, watching, waiting for their opportunity, getting more and more upset that every time they try and do something, that shit backfires in their faces. They are angry. And um, because they've been interfering with your energy, it inadvertently kind of held you back from something. Not that it held you back, but you weren't able to progress forward the way you wanted to because the little shit that they was doing was just causing more things for you to have to clear out the way first. Um, but now you're coming to a point where this tower is coming in. Judgment is coming in. Once this tower has um, done its job and the foundation, your new foundation is set in place, you're going to see an abundance of things that you've been looking for coming in, whether it be material, emotional, or uh, mental. And the person, people, or things that are going out of their way to cause you this um, obstacle, they will be tossed to the wayside. I am going to pull more. You have seven of swords. Nine of wands. And the moon. And the moon card. Y'all. Yeah. 
I use this deck somewhat often, not as often as a lot of the other decks, but often enough. And now that I'm pulling this moon card, I'm realizing I um I don't pull this card often, but I love it. It's such a beautiful card. I just want you to see it. It's like all of the faces, all of the women, they're covered in gold leaf. If you become a regular to my channel, one thing you will find out about me is that I live by the moon. Literally, everything I do, um, damn near, is directed or planned out via the moon cycles. Um... There's some energetic work that needs to be done for some of you Aquarians. And what I'm getting now is you need to use the energy of the moon. Excuse me. Um, I'm getting spiritual cleansing, spiritual baths, um, and the moon cycles. The new moon is the best time to do this type of work. And hold on, I'm going to pull up because I don't know the exact date right now. But tomorrow, August 3rd, if you get the opportunity, take a moment to just ground yourself. Um, the new moon well, excuse me, the full moon will be at its peak at 11.59 tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 11.59, literally right before noon, the new moon will be at its peak. If you get a minute, take a chance to sit down and meditate. Um, try and ground yourself if you have the opportunity. Take a walk in the park, put your feet in the grass, um, sit by some water, and just meditate. Clear your mind, focus on... Um, the things that it, it is that you want to start attracting to you and the things that you want to clear out. Pray. Whatever it is you can do to kind of harness the energy from this full moon that's coming, I suggest you do so. And uh, be aware, the new moon will be August 18th, and the peak for that will be at 10.42 p.m., okay? Um... So, yeah, it's not a whole bunch to tell you right now this month from what I'm getting. Things are good. If they start to look or feel a little hectic, ignore it. Literally ignore it. Because um, the universe is shifting everything. And it's not just for you. The universe is shifting everything for everyone, literally, whether they want to acknowledge it or not. And it's not really much most of us can do right now except for the spiritual, the energy work that needs to be done. Um, whatever it is that you have been doing, continue to do it. Keep moving forward. Don't let this little blip in your path do anything to deter you. Just sit back, get your popcorn, and watch the antics because it, it might actually even be funny. What I am going to do, though, is... um. I'm going to pull an oracle card and just see if there's anything extra that spirit wants you to know, have, advise, anything. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. Compass. You're headed in the right direction. You're on the right track. You know exactly where you want to go. And everything that you've been doing has been leading you there. Don't let nothing make you feel or think that um, you might be moving in the wrong direction. Because it is a lie. Heal the ouch. What did I just say? The only thing you need to be doing right now. I mean, yeah, you move forward with your day to day. And you, can, you continue to do the work that you've been doing. But... Right now is a time for that inner work, that spiritual work, that energy work. It's a time for you to 
a, a, a strength in your connection to spirit, to all, to the universal energies. It's time for you to start stepping into your power, manifesting, creating, attracting the things that it is that you want to attract to your life. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to leave that there. I think this was kind of a good reading. And I think you will be pleasantly surprised, at least moving in to the mid, from the mid to the end of the month of August. Um, just keep it going. You have a good momentum going, whoever this resonates for. You have a really good momentum going. Just keep going. Don't get the tears. And watch the fools act like fools. Stay blessed. Keep your vibes high. I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you for watching. Like I said earlier, if it resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below. If it doesn't, still, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and if you are interested in getting a personal reading from me, the information for that will be down below also in the description box. I thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Later.